Sivan Rotem, Jonathan Zak, welcome to Culture Buzz. Actually, we are your guests here. You hosted us to a wonderful concert of Meyerbeer songs here in the Galilee, the north of Israel, as part of this festival. And uh, I wanted to ask you to tell us a little bit about this project with Meyerbeer. Well, the first time we were introduced to Meyerbeer was with, uh, um, by uh, Professor David Feynman, that is an international physicist. He works in uh, Midrashat Sde Boker, and he loves south. his music, yes, in the south. And he came to me and asked whether I know about Giacomo Meyerbeer. I said, well, I've heard about the composer, but I never sang in uh, none of his arias or operas. And he said, will you be interested in, in singing something? I said, of course. And after a few days, I got uh, via mail a beautiful book of 40 uh, of Giacomo Meyerbeer songs in German, in Italian, and French. And I started working on them and fell in love with this wonderful music. And after another few days, he <coughs> called me and asked whether I'm interested to come and sing a recital for an international um, there was convention. A convention that was going to be in Stebuquer for people from all over the world. And I said, of course. And then I asked uh, Professor uh, Jonathan Zak to join me. And we um, gave a recital there, which he recorded, Professor Feynman. And then he sent it to Cambridge, to an expert of Meyerbeer, uh, Mr. Robert Letelier that lives there and works and teaches there in Cambridge and he was very enthusiastic about this and he sent it to Naxos which is an international uh, uh, label. label and this is how it started all this uh, project you know and this time it was a second project because these are new songs that we've never performed before not of the songs that we uh, have already on the CD. So the beginning of the story is when? It is like ago, four years ago, no? Four years. Four, three yes, years. three, four years ago, yes. And Nax, the relationship with Naxos gave birth to a, a, a CD, CD. To right? A CD, yes. yes. Thanks to Professor David Feynman, that he really initiated this. Yeah. Yes, so uh, how is it playing it uh, here now in the, the Galilee, in this intimate uh, festival with the, where the audience and uh, the performance are so uh, closely. Uh, Integrated. Yes. I love the place. I love the place. I've been here before. It's not my first time, and uh, the, the the reaction of the audience is fantastic. And you all, you know, it's not it's not it's not like playing a concert in Tel Aviv or in New York or wherever where where you go. The audience applause and go out, and we never see them again. Here you go to the dining room, and you go to the to the, the, the out, outside, yes. and to the pool, you yes. meet people, and they, <laughs> they, they compliment you uh, about the concert, and they start to talk, and ask questions, so so the interaction is lasts much longer than the concert itself, actually, and this is, this is the beautiful thing about it, that uh, this way I think people remember it also for, for longer. Also meeting the artists, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a great uh, experience. experience for us to meet the audience also. And also coming to open rehearsals, which is very important and interesting for the audience to see the process of making music together, you know. Yes, it's, it's really amazing when we were earlier in your uh, rehearsal and uh, mm. it's amazing. So, um, Giacomo Meyerberg wrote a very demanding voice. Uh, it's true, yes. Yes. Also, actually, very demanding clarinet, which we also yes, heard. Yes, yes, yes. The roles are very demanding, very virtuosic. His operas were also like that. And uh, it is amazing to see this through the songs also, because these are miniatures, but at the same time they are very operatic. And, uh, but it is a real big challenge, and uh, I'm very thankful to Maestro uh, Jonathan Zak, because he was a wonderful accompanist of singers and a wonderful chamber music player with a wonderful experience for so many years with his trio, the Yuval Trio, that uh, toured all over the world and recorded for the best labels. And, and for me it's a wonderful opportunity. And also a professor in, uh, in, in Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv. Buchmann Meta, Buchmann Meta. Conservatory yes. for Music. Academy. School of Music. School of Music. Music. Yes. <laughs> the University it's of complicated Tel Aviv. name, yes. Yes, and uh, so just to finish off, uh, I would ask uh, uh, with you teaching uh, many generations. Uh, many generations. Uh, as, how is it to as come a here of fact, now? I met here a student of mine, uh, and she's a grandmother now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so it was. It was. Uh, it, it just shows you the, the the passing of time, you know. That, uh, so how do you something. feel this the growth of this the young generation, or what you see here today in relation to your career? Um, 
I'm, I'm a little disappointed that there are not enough really young people. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, uh, all the young people, most of the young people who are in the concert today are people who are playing in the festival, part of the festival, but the rest of the audience is, is uh, you know, is uh, from middle age up. And uh, somehow it seems to me that the younger generation is lately less interested in classical music. So and, the challenge uh, remains to the bring the young audience. The challenge remains to bring the young audience. Yet, there was a beautiful audience tonight. And mm -hmm. there, are, there are a lot of people. And maybe even the young generation of today will become 50 or 60. They will also start to come to the concert. <laughs> so we'll never miss the audience. When they gain no, some it just come, They come later. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm.